True or false? You just need more willpower. That's your problem and why you can't lose weight. Tell me in the comments, do you agree or disagree with that statement? Well, I am Sarah with The Holy Mess, and in this video series, we are dispelling common weight loss myths. So what about willpower? Is it true or false that you need more willpower and then you can lose weight? Well, the reality is research shows that that is false. Do you need willpower? Yes, sure you need some willpower. Absolutely, it's important to make healthier choices, but will just having more willpower make it so that you can get to your goal weight and stay there for the rest of your life? No, you need some willpower, but willpower we've discovered is like a muscle. Eventually it does fatigue and wear out. So the way that you can set yourself up for success is by creating a yes environment. Instead of having an environment where you have all of this junk food available and easily accessible, that makes it really hard. Create a yes environment by having healthy foods around and available and at your fingertips. Make it easier for yourself. I like to say that organization matters more than willpower. Can you have junk food sometimes? Absolutely. Do I eat chips and junk food? Yes, I definitely do, but I don't keep them in my line of sight. I keep healthy food available. Organization matters more than willpower. Create a yes environment to set yourself up for success. Today's mini challenge, I want you to choose one and share in the comments for accountability what you will do starting tomorrow. One idea, use smaller plates. These smaller plates are what I use for all of my meals instead of a regular size dinner plate. Seems little, but it really makes a difference. Number two, maybe you need to unfollow some food influencers or not watch um, Chopped or all of those TV cooking shows quite as often or following them in your Facebook feed. So that's number two. Number three, keep junk food out of sight. The Girl Scout cookies, don't have them on the kitchen counter. Don't put food on top of your fridge. Don't make it the first thing you see when you open your pantry. I use the treat box concept. So I buy individually portioned treats or I portion out treats. I keep them in a box that's closed with the lid. Yes, I can go and get them, but they're not in my line of sight. So tell us which one you will do for the mini challenge and let's create a yes environment to set you up for success together.